No. Oh. Oh, you're here. Welcome to virtual reality, or VR. I am the Virtual Reality Assistance and Education Corps. I shall be your guide for the next few minutes to show you how everything works. Let's get started. Have a look around you. The border in which you're standing is called the play area. The boundaries of your play area were defined during setup, and VR experiences will take place within them. With that out of the way, I'd like to introduce you to your chaperone bounds. Walk toward me, uh, slowly, please. And stop. Good. The colored fence around you represents your chaperone bounds. They will appear whenever you or your controllers approach the edge of your physical space and will help you to avoid bumping into objects in the real world. Let's do it one more time. I'll just move over to the other side. Now, walk slowly toward me on this side. Great. I think you've got the hang of it. Lastly, step back toward the center of your play area, just until the chaperone bounds disappear. Perfect. Now, have a look at the controllers you're holding. Go ahead, uh, move them around. Wave them in front of your face. They are accurately tracked to your movements. These controllers can also track your individual fingers. Here, have some virtual hands. Try wiggling your fingers around. You'll see that motion reflected in VR. We can also take your controllers away completely for greater immersion. Some games may do this, while others won't. It's all a matter of preference. We'll bring back your controllers now, as there's still a bit more to show you. Uh, let's go through each of the controller buttons. On the underside of the controller is a trigger button. Give that a squeeze. Oh my! Let's just turn that off for the moment. Next, notice the grip surfaces embedded within the controller handle. Give them a squeeze. Ah! Uh, yeah, very festive. The capsule shape on the top surface is called the trackpad. It should be under your thumb. Slide your thumb around the trackpad. Notice that it shows you where you are touching the pad. The trackpad is also a button. Press in on the trackpad now. Oh, I wonder where that was hiding. Find the thumbstick and move it around. Notice that it shows you which direction that you are tilting the stick. The thumbstick is also a button. Press in on the thumbstick now. You'll notice a few letter buttons on either controller. Press the A button for me. Well, oh, this is turning into quite a party. Now, press the B button. Now, find and press the system button, which will summon the Steam VR dashboard. Here it is, the Steam VR dashboard. Note that most VR experiences will pause while the dashboard is on screen. You can use the trigger to select items on the dashboard. And the dashboard can be closed by pressing the system button again. Go ahead and close the dashboard. Well, I believe that's everything you need to know. Now. I need to practice for my next lecture, the unabridged history of accountancy filing methods. I just need to fetch my notes. Uh-oh. My battery is dead. <laughs> <laughs>